Hello, welcome to this video. I'm happy that you're here. My name is Nicole. If you didn't know, I'm a 26 year old graphic designer and agency co-founder living in Austin, Texas, sharing things online. And this video is a design with me. I've watched a couple YouTubers, designers online before, and I think it's really cool to just watch their process when it comes to designing something, what tools they use, what their strategy is, things like that. And today we are designing a social media carousel post for my agency's business account. And yeah, it'll be really fun. This is my first time recording my screen and doing all of this, so hopefully it works. I'm not sure if this headset is necessary but I'm gonna use it anyway. Oh, and yes, I did take an edible. I also have some Topo Chico. I'm hoping it'll be a nice hangout that we have here for the next, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes. We'll see how long it takes. Um, let's switch over to my screen now. I think that the mic is connected. Okay, cool. Like I said, we'll just see how this goes. So um, for social media, post in general, we, my agency, my co-founders and I, we have a Google Doc where we outline post or where we outline post and also write captions and organize our Instagram post. And so you can see here for the carousel, it's a Vegan Cities blog post that our copywriter Erica wrote and we're turning that into a carousel post to share it on our Instagram. So she has outlined the copy for each of the slides of the carousel post, which is super helpful, and has also linked the blog that she wrote that has images so we can do something with this. So you can see here that the title is Top Vegan Friendly Cities of the World, and then she has a subheading. And then she counts down from seven to one, so it's leading up to the number one. Cool, this is gonna be fun to make. And this is what my Illustrator template looks like since I've made carousels before. I already have all the dimensions in here, but I can quickly show you what that looks like. So for Instagram, it's 1080 width. And then the height, I like to do the 1350 with the kind of like outline of 1080 because when you're looking at your Instagram a, like profile and you see all the squares that's 1080 by 1080 but when you click on the post sometimes they're a bit taller so that's the extra bit that turns it into 1350 so you won't see what's up here like digital marketing tip and the fool's agency and save for later when you're just looking at a profile so if you didn't know now you know that's what that looks like on this end when you're designing and I just have all the pages here. This is an old post, so I'll delete this in a sec. But let's see how many slides we need for this one. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I like to do one at the end that just says, thanks for reading, follow us, and share this if you found this helpful. So, oh, oh. We need nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool, they're all here. Kind of don't like that it's all the way to the right of the page. So let's just move that over if it's not too complicated. I don't know. Oh, those aren't even artboards there. Let me add two more. And I might have some layers locked. Let me just unlock everything. Whoop. Whoa. All right, and then let's 
move these over. Oh, that messes up my my ruler lines. That's okay. We can just make new ones. So this is what I do. I'll go to my first artboard, click on that, make the height 1080, and then let's drop this ruler and make it a guide for us. And I'll lock it just in case so it doesn't get moved around. Put this back. Cool. I like to leave the, the top and the bottom, what it has there, the text that it has there, so it's as consistent as possible on all of the carousels that we post. Okay, so I'm just gonna start deleting this stuff that is no longer necessary. I'm trying to keep this as organized as possible so it actually makes sense to you guys. If you know, you know. We each have our own way of doing this and sometimes it could only make sense to us. Okay, I want to make sure I don't lose those text boxes. This is... All of this, which is what I usually just put on the last slide, we'll keep that. Make sure everything is deleted here. Do I have anything up here? I'll just delete it. And I will bring this one to the end. Okay, so we're getting there. First, we should lay everything out. So I'll start pulling in some of the copy now and putting it on the slide that it's supposed to go in. So we got the title. So that is all the copy, so we can just get that out of the way. Oh, color. I don't know what color to do. So to figure that out, I'll go on our Instagram real quick and see what color hasn't been used in a while that would be nice to use here. Okay, so we have been using a lot of blue. I don't want to use blue for this post then. That'd be too much. I'm thinking maybe a white could be nice. 
to just calm things down a little bit with all of the different colors. A white, a purple, red. Mm. Okay, I'm getting ideas. I'm thinking maybe a white background and then we'll incorporate red and purple in there somehow. Yeah, that should be cool. Alright, so something that I want to see also are the images that Erica used on the blog. This is a cool image. I was thinking it would be really neat to outline this, like outline these images of food so we're not using photography on the carousel but we're making it more into an illustration. I think that'll be really fun. That'll be easier to do on my iPad though. Okay. Yeah, that's what we should do. I'll grab these pictures anyway to just lay them out on the carousel post now just to see how it could look and then I'll get to outlining in a little while. Let's see if I can save. I can't save these. Uh, I also don't think I can screenshot because I'm recording. Huh, I can. Cool. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> these notches look so good. Just need the burger, don't really need everything else. Oh, sushi looks good too. This probably was not the best pose to make while on an edible. I'm having some regrets right now. Oh, Monty's. Eric and I actually, we've been there. We went on a road trip to... California from Florida to California and I had seen Monty's on Instagram and it is really good I can confirm it was it's vegan fast food you just have like burgers and shakes I think and the fries really good stuff okay well this one is number one and it's not going to be on the slide on the carousel so I don't need that let's start dropping in the photos this goes first second cool 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 all right so let's start playing with the text. Definitely got to make it big. That could work. Oh, I also like to see what kind of text I've been using on our Instagram before. So I could see here that I have some bold text, so maybe it could be nice to mix things up with a thinner option in the font family. But I still want this to be really big. Let's go to 125. And we need some more space here. The top vegan friendly cities of the world. I'm picturing a map. I feel like we should have, since we're talking about locations, maybe we should have some sort of map design in the background. That could be cool. That could be cool.
top vegan friendly cities of the world. Okay. And then we have the food. Hmm. So for the first slide of a carousel post, I try to think of something that I can give people like that um, direction, that instruction to swipe. You've probably seen that technique on a bunch of carousel posts before where they'll have like an arrow or just, yeah, something pointing so that you go to the next slide. Let's see. Maybe there could be something here. Like maybe I can draw this one. Mm. Uh, might just have to be basic and use an arrow. Now I'm thinking this could be cool to have the arms with the food coming in on different sides. That could actually be really neat. So, all right, let's just do like a rough layout of what the outline could look like. That works. Mm, I didn't mean to use this brush. Maybe something that's not uniform. This doesn't matter too much since th these aren't made yet, but. Just to get an idea, maybe this can go in the middle. I usually don't do that. That could be nice. We'll have one of the arms with food here. I'm thinking arms might be weird. Maybe just food. I don't know. We'll see. Four might be too much. There's only one way to find out. Let's lay them all out. The sun set is coming in, so I can't really hide from the glare. So I'm just going to try to lean forward for you guys. kind of feels like I'm Twitch streaming right now, which I've never done before. I've never even been on Twitch, but it feels like the vibe, probably the headset. Okay. There could be something here. I just think the hands will look weird. Yeah, the hands will look weird. Just make some food. We will experiment. Do I want to center this? Oh, well, top vegan friendly cities of the world. Dun dun dun. Oh, what could be cool is flags. Flags of like the different places because this is global. So that could be pretty neat. Mm, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. So something that I definitely want to highlight in the top is that this is a blog. I think this is our first time making a carousel post for a blog. We've usually just been doing these tips. So just write 
blog written return by the fool's agency. No, it doesn't need to say the fool's agency. That'll be too redundant. Hmm. Okay, well, I have posted blog posts before, so let me see how I described those. Oh, blog excerpt. Need blog writing, ask us about our service. Hmm. Yeah, so I have like the genre. What? Or industry. What would, what would it be for this? Would it be. Excuse me. Would it be food? Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is just say to the right that it is a blog excerpt. And then here on the, le the left, <clears throat> Put a call to action. Wait, what did I say on the one before? Duh. Need blog writing? Ask us about our service. Need blog writing. Uh, need blog writing. I'll just put that for now. Maybe I'll put packages instead of services. Service. Because blogs is something that would be ideal to send in, in a. Oh my gosh, blogs would be ideal to sell in a package so that, you know, we can actually help them, help the business get more views. Okay, I need to move this camera. It's not working. No, it's not. I think I can move closer. I'm going to cut all of this out, so I don't even know why I'm narrating this. Oh, gosh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, cool. I think this this is fine for now. Okay, yeah, this totally works. All right, um, okay, we keep going. So now let's play with the text on the other pages. And that ideally is gonna be some sort of template to keep it the same throughout the rest of the carousel post. So we have a number, we have a location, and then we have a little description. So, let me separate these so I can do different things with them. I've actually been to Portland kind of sort of kind of drove through Portland because it was cold if I remember correctly and this was during Eric and I's road trip and we were car camping and stuff like that and it, it was just like gross out so we just grabbed some vegan pizzas somewhere and that was really good okay so let's see Number seven, number seven. I feel like that could be nice and big. Oops, what did I do? Probably be 
be even bigger than that. Cool. So we have a big number seven, so that emphasizes the countdown, right? Because we want to get to number one. What's number one? Um, okay, seven, seven. Maybe this could be inside of a shape. That could be cool. Um, let's just do something simple for now. Something like this. Take that period off. Cool. On these will be the same on all of them. All right, neat. Uh, let's make the name of the city also bigger. See what a hundred looks like. I think that looks nice. Something to keep in mind when you're designing for social media is that people are probably looking at the post on their phone and their phone, it just, it's small. So it's helpful to make text bigger. So it's easier to read, more accessible to read, things like that. Okay, we keep going. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of liking what's going on here with the number to the right. Seven. Maybe the seven should be over here. Then we'll put this here. Maybe the food can go under and it could be really big something like that remember this isn't going to be an image so it's not going to be as dense to your eyes when you're looking at it so that could work but this text definitely needs to be bigger Something like that. Something like this could potentially work. I might make this all purple. Hmm. Mm, no, let's keep to a white background. Cool, 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 cool. Hipster, artsy, what size is this? Let's keep these the same size. This is the most tedious part. It's just laying things out in a thousand different ways <laughs> before you actually figure out what looks good to you. Um, we'll just keep rolling with this right here. Yeah, we'll just go. Actually, Let's try to finalize 
what this could look like a little bit more. Okay, so let me just draw with the paint tool what the plate would look like. I can move this down. Plate does not have to look that big. Oh yeah, maybe everything could just be moved to the right. So this could be two lines of a description. Then you have image of the food, you have the location. Number seven. Yeah, number seven's feeling a little awkward. Hmm. Maybe this can be a color that would look cool. Yeah. Something like this could work better. You've probably seen other people do something like this on Carousel Post where they, on the first slide, put a solid color. That's kind of, I guess, telling your eyes, like, there's more over here. But I think in this case, it might look weird. It might look just like a stripe. Okay, I am digging this placement. Yeah, I think this could look cool. Alright, maybe let's edit the weight of the different text boxes. Let's make this lighter. What about we make this light? That could work. Uh, actually, I want to make this heavier because illustration will probably be light. And then let's make this normal. That's not normal. Normal. Cool. Okay, yeah, there's something here. There's something happening here. Excuse me, oh, what did I do? Okay, what could be cool is making the city a different color so it stands out more. Okay. Or maybe just have like, how people do like a rectangle in a color behind a text kind of make it look highlighted or something. Oops. <sighs> Maybe this can work. Too colorful, too colorful. All right, we'll figure out the right color options later. Doesn't have to be a priority right now. but I definitely want to make this text white. And I think I also want to make it thinner because right now it's just medium weight. There we go. I'll make this white too. So it's easier to read. And this will be red. I think red could look cool for the illustration because it won't pop out as much. Okay, yeah, this is looking cool. I don't know about you guys, but it's looking a bit washed out. Just make this a little bit darker. Hmm. 
because I didn't make it darker, just made it bluer. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, okay. Well, the white definitely stands out more. The yellow stands out more. Yeah, I like this. I think I should keep that. This shade of purple. Dope. So now is when, you know, I'm going to pretty much use this as a template. So I'll just copy and slide it over. These art boxes are literally right next to each other. So it's a little hard to see. Oh, well I did that because I can just use one background color. This is working. Making those illustrations is going to take me a minute. Okay. Save this. The worst thing in the world is when you don't save something that you're working on. And then it disappears, or your computer restarts, or something like that, and it, it's not saved to like that last point of where it was. It's so frustrating. The worst is with Premiere Pro. I don't think it auto saves. Maybe it does. I feel like I've gotten really frustrated on there. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is chill on the couch and do these illustrations and then I will be back with those thinking I'm going to make them in red just send myself my iPad these images here and make an illustration outline nothing crazy don't want to spend too too much time doing it or like designing details or whatever so I'm gonna do that and I'll be back Okay, I'm back. And I made these illustrations. I mean, I just outlined the images. So let's place them in. Sorry if I'm really loud on the mic. Oh, wait, no, I should probably keep the pictures so I know. Oh, no, those don't matter. Never mind. So looking at this, I made the red too dark. So let's see if they work. 
Okay, the first one was this. Like a taco bowl, bowl kind of thing. Hmm. How does that look? Excuse me. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Let's keep going. So, this place is known for burgers. I think it's this one. We got the sushi over here. I think the sushi came out pretty cool. And then Monty's. Uh, this plate looks like a Mediterranean plate kind of thing. And then the pizza and pasta. There's a salad on here too, but it was kind of too hard to, to make. I just felt like it wasn't going to look like a salad, you know? I don't even know if this looks like pizza and pasta. <laughs> okay. It's, it's working. I don't hate it. Yeah, I don't hate it. I think it gives it a nice touch. Um, I wonder if maybe a different color would look better. Let's try. Uh, like purple, like a dark purple. Okay, that's a top. I don't know if this is going to work without like image tracing the whole thing. You know what I mean? So let's just see. Excuse me. Oh, my computer is lagging. Yeah, that doesn't work. You have to image trace it to change the color. Hmm, I guess, real quick, let's just see if that could even come out good. Where are the settings? Oh. So we want to ignore white. You know, that doesn't look terrible. That really doesn't look that bad. Just feel like to me the whole thing just looks like scribbles. <laughs> but okay, let's try this. Expanded. If you're a new designer out there watching this, I would definitely recommend learning shortcuts. I don't know all of them. But the ones that I know are just super helpful. Wait, where did my white go? I'm confused. Too high for this. Uh, why is my white disappearing? Ugh, oh, Nicole, you're a dum dum. You don't need to uh, clipping mask anything because now you can change the color of this. So let's grab this purple. Let's go down here. Ooh, ooh. Not bad. And then the highlight, you know, would stay on the yellow. Ugh. Oh. But the red looks cool. The red looks cool. This looks too clean. This looks more sketched out. Oh, that's a timer because the pizza is ready. Um, okay, well, I am leaving this off here because this is taking way longer than I thought it would. It's already about to be 9 o'clock. 
and I still have other things to do. So I'm going to pick this back up tomorrow or maybe Thursday because I don't know. I mean, tomorrow's Thursday or maybe Friday. I'm not sure. I'm going to pick this up again either tomorrow or the day after and then we'll finish this up. I don't think too much is left mainly the cover slide i need to figure out how i want to do that and yeah okay cool so to me i'll be back in over 24 hours or less around there but to you guys i'll just be back in two seconds so i'll see you in two seconds mm -hmm.